The European Union bill has been produced after the Supreme Court ruled out legislation that would be necessary. Jeremy Corbyn has ordered Labour MPs to back the bill, which will give the PM the power to trigger Brexit under Article 50 of the Lisbon Treaty. Prime Minister Theresa May promised to do this by the end of March. The government was forced to draw up the legislation after losing an appeal at the Supreme Court on Tuesday, when judges ruled that Parliament must give permission to start the Brexit process. The bill was due to be initially debated by MPs on Tuesday in a sitting that may last until midnight and clear commons on 8th of February, after which it will move to the House of Lords. Mr Corbyn said Labour MPs would face a three-line whip in, in favour to vote for the bill. He understood the pressures and issues members faced but called on them to unite around important issues and not block Article 50 to make sure it goes through. Front bench members of parties are generally expected to resign from their posts if they decide to defy a three-line whip. As well as the bill, on Wednesday, Prime Minister Ther Theresa May announced the government would set out more details of its Brexit plans in a formal policy document. In the House of Commons, MPs urged Mr Davis to commit to publishing the document known as a white paper before the Article 50 bill and legislation has passed through Parliament. Mr Davis said the question involved slightly separate issues. The Article 50 bill, he said, was about carrying out the will of the British people and adding that the white paper would be published as fast as possible. The Liberal Democrats have vowed to oppose Article 50 unless there is a guarantee of another referendum on the final Brexit deal, Brexit deal that will be agreed with Brussels, while the SNP has vowed that table 50, they will table 50 amendments to the legislation. Taking questions from MPs, Mr Davis has also said he disagreed with the EU Commissioner Chief Negotiator Michael Barriner's view that trade talks will have to be handled separately from the Article 50 negotiations. Such a sequential approach would not be practical, he said, adding that he wanted all negotiations to be completed inside of two years. Ryan Green, reporting for BBC London, Parliament Square.